Welcome to Legoland. I hope you're having a bricktacular day today. Dave K here today for a brand new adventure at Legoland, Florida. So excited to be at Legoland, Florida with Mike. Huge shout out to Mike Woo! for bringing us here today. Super exciting. Mike's got a special event, getting to look at some of these really cool things taking place here at Legoland. Mike, are you excited to see it for the first time? So excited. Just as we're getting out of the car here in the parking lot at Legoland, so excited to see it all. You can see they have covered parking. I think this is their premium parking. You can get covered here and they are solar panels. It looks like on the top of those cover sections, really smart way to do both of those things at one. You've got Ninja Go and friends. It seems like on the side of some of these solar panels, adventure Legos over there. Really, really cool to see making our way towards that first hotel, the Pirate Island Hotel now and lots of the park to see ahead. If you take a look at these signs above us underneath the solar panels, which is nice shade, as we're walking inward, you've got different signs telling you about the solar panels. Like the pirate there saying, Arg matey. Or over here, you've got, you've got the power. These solar panels can power about 200 homes or enough electricity for the entire Legoland hotel. Really, really cool to learn about the solar panels as we're walking underneath the solar panels inwards towards Legoland. Great start here. I'd love to see them being efficient with that covering and the solar panels all in one. And here we are, welcome to Legoland. So excited to share it all with you here today. This sign looking like it's made out of Legos from the yellow to the blue back to the yellow. The Legoland Florida sign there ahead of us. You can see that one made of the beautiful looking Lego pieces as well with your different adventurers in the corners and the beautiful park ahead of us. But we also have to visit this hotel on our left, the Pirate Island Hotel over here. It looks beautiful from out front as well. So, so excited to check it all out. Let's take a look. Here it is, that front entrance sign into Legoland. We've got the park entrance up that way, tickets and such right up here. Excited to step inside here today. So much to see, so much to do. Let's do it. This will be my first ever visit to Legoland. Really, really excited to check it out for the first time ever. It's about an hour out from Orlando, so it's a bit of a hike, but really, really glad we're making the time to see it. Let's take a look inside and see how it goes. Now heading to the Pirate Island Hotel beautiful pirate island theming here on this building. Love the brick structures, love that very nautical feel, the pirate boat style feeling, if you ask me. Like if you're on a pirate ship, this might be some of the feeling that you get. You've got this beautiful Lego sculpture out front right there. Take a look at that pirate island hotel ship right here. And we are about to step in to the Kraken. Here's more of the pirate island hotel. Looks like the boating school on the second or third floor there. Captain's license guaranteed. Don't you worry about that. They also sell chests at barrels and crates. And then over there is the Legoland Hotel. So much to see, even just in hotels. Take a look at the inside of the Legoland Hotel here. Really cool to see this counter. Look at that. You've got that biker going across as you've got your concierge over there checking into the hotel. All kinds of cool Lego icons all along the way. Seems like bricks to build Legos throughout. There's even a castle back that way. If you see that castle that kids are playing on way back here. And that's a nice little orc in the middle as well. You can see there's a slide outdoors and it looks like the Skyline Lounge here on our right. Little Lego shop there. So much to see and do here. I love to see these signs as well where you can build more bricks and there's Pirate Island back that way. Across from the castle here on our right, you can see the Bricks Family Restaurant. Quite a line here this morning for people waiting to get into the Bricks Family Restaurant. So must be a popular option. Really cool to see inside of the Bricks Family Restaurant as well. All kinds of Lego sculptures and recipe books and lighting and so much more. You can see the chefs of the month there. You've got a variety of different team members there. And it looks like you've got a pool out back. A brick style pool with a slide and so much more. Cool to see this Lego Land Hotel. Taking our first steps in Lego Land now. So excited to share it all with you. You can see those sculptures of Lego. You've got this big shop right here. So much to see and do today. Excited to share it all with you and let you know what we think. And this year is Lego Land's 10th birthday. On October 15th, Lego Land will be 10. So they're building these cakes here. It looks awesome. You got that mini cake made of pure Legos. And this bigger one they're working on, gonna be built of Lego and Duplos. So really, really cool to see all the little 
Lego decorations throughout the park. I love to see the different beverage stations, food stations, rides along the way. There's a pizza stop on our right, and now making our way towards the rides. You got that carousel back there, and I'm sure so much more. Take a look at this double-decker carousel. I don't think I've seen a double-decker carousel before. Really, really cool to see that they've got this in the midst of their park here. Lots more attractions to see, but that one looks great too. Take a look at this theater for the 4D films. We're gonna see Mythica. We got our 3D glasses. Let's check it out, let you know what we think. Cool to see Lego Mythica 4D there. I love how they made it a whole story about these different animals built out of Legos designed by someone. I don't want to give too many spoilers here, but really enjoyed the show, the unique take on not having voices so much as animal noises and being able to take that Lego world and merge it with the real world. Not to mention, really enjoyed the nice cool AC and the 4D effects. It's a hot day out and I'm starting to feel it more and more. So taking the time to sit back, relax, and watch that show was really nice. Now maybe we're gonna grab a snack. Granny's apple fries here. Really excited to give this one a shot. Unique for that Legoland experience. Let's see how it goes. Take a look at these apple fries here. It looks awesome with that whipped cream on the side. I think it's pure apple all the way through but they fried them. I guess we'll find out once we bite into it. Let's give it a shot. Delicious apple fries. Love that idea of taking those apple slices, slicing them real tiny, putting the cinnamon sugar on the outside, frying those up. Delicious idea and delicious execution. I'm sure we'll have to try them again in the future, but most definitely would recommend. Take a look at Miniland here. So, so cool to see all these mini Lego sculptures of different cities. Really, really cool look to it. Started off with Daytona here. You can see the racetracks, the RVs back there, the cars. Love to see all of the different parts of the world in Lego. We're gonna take a lot closer look at Miniland here later, but you can see walking by Egypt. There's so many different countries to see. But in front of this one, you've got the Sphinx and the pyramids here. You've got what looks like maybe New York. I'm assuming that's New York and not Vegas because there is a Statue of Liberty Paris behind it. Wow, so, so cool to see all of the different places out here. Now, excited to check out Brickbeard's Water Sports Stunt Show. We're gonna see all kinds of cool water sports out here getting a seat into the shade and we'll watch this uh, awesome show here on the water. Most definitely excited to see all the water stunts that they perform here for us with Brickbeard, yes. The first rule of pirates, you field rats. No spray, no pay. That was fine, ignore me. Wait, your skills are tied. Cool to see the photo opportunities here with a few of those pirates. You can meet them after the show and learn more about their history here. Really cool to see this water sports show. Thought it was fantastic to be able to see those water sports taking place on the water. Really impressive that pyramid, for example. The ski water pyramid was really cool. But I think my favorite one was the flying board, that flying surfboard. I think they called it the Triton or the Neptune, where one athlete had a surfboard that had water jets shooting out from beneath it so it looked like they were flying on the water that looked like such a fun time maybe we'll have to make that happen for ourselves at some point but loved to see the humor in there love to see a few of those minifigures the brick beard and his first mate and just get an overall feel of those relaxing pirate vibes here on the lake at legoland really glad we had a chance to see it there is so much more to see here today here's a look at that map we have so many places that we have not yet seen at all, but a few that I want to go back and see again. You've got your Duplo Valley, which we didn't step into. 
Heart Lake City's got to be on that list. There's a whole Ninjago world over there. So, so much to observe in the water park out back. So, most definitely got to keep our eyes open for it. But there are maps, it seems like, throughout the park. And I think there's some of the front entrance. Brick or Treat, another event coming up here for them. And you have some beautiful sculptures back here with Mike. Look at these awesome Lego sculptures. Let's get some photos with them. After the pirate show, making our way to grab some water, you've got this VR coaster there on our right. And then over here on our left, you've got these spinning boats. This looks really interesting. It looks like you can turn the angle of them so you can spin in different directions. That's pretty cool. All kind of food spots along the way. You've got ultimate sandwich burger truck right here. You've got these theme park style games where you can toss to try to catch some pets, some stuffed animals. And sounds like there's a roller coaster in the background there. You can see some people's hands flying around. There's the burger kitchen over here just walking by it all seeing it all taking that first pass appreciating the views trying to get some water because they need to hydrate and then we'll see some sights and ride some rides probably and maybe eat some food we got to do that too here is ninjago lego ninjago take a look at this dragon out front definitely looks like a very cool area i'm sure we'll get the chance to walk around there and learn about the elements and the ninja training courtyard up ahead that's probably the most exciting me but we'll see currently looking at lego city burger kitchen you can see their menu here pretty standard stuff a couple of special style items maybe that barbecue bacon cheeseburger with the fish and chips here will we go for this or will we try somewhere else tbd we found a few other options that sound good you've got kicking chicken and you've got the dragon den we'll have to see where the two of them are and if we can give one of those a shot but uh, we'll see see what comes up out front master Wu welcomes you some information about master Wu and you have this beautiful looking temple. You have Kai, who has fire in his blood and he likes speed. There you go. So you got the different elements here. Here's water and ice. Oh, it seems like maybe this ninja is an ice person. Or Zane is with ice and Naya is with water. Good teamwork. There's some kids play areas and lots of sculptures. We're checking out the ninja kitchen food truck up here to see what the food up there looks like. But cool to see this area, most definitely. You can see you've got Jay with the lightning power right here. You've got more games over here, Jay's lightning drill. And then that food truck right here, pulling up at it. Let's see, see if anything sounds good. If you look here, it seems like Lloyd is the ultimate ninja, able to master all elements right here. Part of a Ninja Go, or Ninja Go, the ride. Still trying to say it right. I was saying Ninja Go earlier, I think. But Ninja Go the ride let's see if we can ride this one with our cameras step on this one here it looks really cool in the lobby area look at that here's your different ninja on the sides here you can see you've got naya you've got lloyd right here wow you've got zane with the element of ice and these are the elemental blades it seems whoa check that out lots of signage on both sides i think these are some of the villains in the world of ninjago you have these weapons here wielded by different characters there's lloyd's blade seems like and then it tells you how long the wait is but it said 15 minutes outside so should be pretty quick really really cool cues for the attractions here as we make our way through and the theming is great you can see those ornaments above us most definitely in keeping with the feel of ninjago oh check out this room you've got the videos playing there's jay with his nunchucks oh yeah and master Wu in the back i feel like this would be a really cool show to see i'm all about the ninjas there's lloyd right there the ultimate ninja and we have made it now at our 15 minute waypoint seems like we're pretty much there it'll be fun take a look at the directions here for ninjago i'm starting to think maybe it's a interactive attraction kind of like a game slash ride we'll see how it works when we get on there but sounds so so fun especially if you love ninjas here is our 3d glasses pickup right here for ninjago very excited to see what this one is all about we are almost there let's do it here's the ride vehicle ahead of us looks really cool looks like we'll be able to wave our hands over these devices in order to move let's see how it goes Seventy-five thousand points was cool nice to try really cool to ride that one loved the concept and the dynamic those different villains coming up on the screen and attacking them, fighting them. But I still have to learn the controls a little bit better so that I can get a great score on that one and figure out where I'm at. But it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we had a chance to check it out. Now maybe some food? We've seen quite a few tall citizens here in Legoland, but here are some construction themed ones. That's very cool, nice to see them here. And plenty of other themes of the characters as well. Let's see if we can find that food spot. 
Love to see this Statue of Liberty back here. Look at that Lego Statue of Liberty. Racetrack with the cars, the boats we've got to try later. So many attractions. But here's the driving school and then the kicking chicken right there in front of us. We're going to step inside. This is probably the one, I think, for food. Oh, you might have to mobile order on this one. So I think that's what he said. Take a look at these cars for racing here, it seems like, or just driving around. Really, really cool experience there. You can see they're wheeling around those different cars. I think they'll probably start it in a minute, but wow, I feel like this one would be worth trying if we can. Maybe it's for just for kids though, I'm not sure. Take a look at our spicy chicken sandwiches here from the Lego Land. It looks pretty basic, quite honestly. Got cheese, lettuce, tomato, and chicken in there. The fries on the side, those look nicely spiced, Old Bay or something. We got some barbecue sauce and some buffalo right there. It's worth noting that we had some issues with this one. You have to mobile order apparently. They won't let you get food unless you can mobile order it. So something to keep in mind. But now we know and now you know. Just finished that chicken sandwich and had several of those fries. I've got to say, I thought the chicken sandwich was only okay. It's not bad, I guess, for a theme park chicken sandwich. So there's that. Didn't really seem all that spicy, but you know me. I think I prefer like a good spicy Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich or one of those other spots like a Whataburger. The fries were delicious. Love that seasoning on there. Some Old Bay styling or something like that. Also love the option with the sauces, the barbecue and the buffalo for the sandwiches. Most definitely added, but I'm not sure I would come back for this one. I think I'd probably try somewhere new. It wasn't terrible, but it was, it was only okay. Next stop, a boating school. Looks so fun. You get your own little boat here. You can drive around in it. Looks like a 30 minute wait here. Let's make our way on board. Moments away from stepping on board now. This is that course. And you can see plenty of people loading into the dock here. Let's give it a shot. And we are rolling on the ship here. I'm having a hard time changing the steering. Here we go. I think I can feel the motor moving. It seems very soft and gentle back there when we're rolling, but uh, I feel like I can feel it, you know, on versus off when I take my foot on and off the pedal. Really great view ahead of us here too. Got the beautiful red vessel and another compatriot driving up ahead. Incoming, matey. Here we go. Here it is. Boom. Yeah. He's going down. All right. Boating school. I like it. This is a fun one. Really nice. You can see the signage here. Oops. I'm going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Turn. Turn the other way. Turn the other way. But I don't know where it is. Back on the road. You got to be sensitive with that steering. Yeah. Here we go. Nice relaxing atmosphere. Be able to look around and enjoy the sights here. The different members of the boating school. I love it. Really nice out here, relaxing on the water. It's not too thrilling of an event. Nice relaxing one, but most definitely do enjoy this one. I think this is up there for the attractions for me. If you're looking for a nice, mild, water-based attraction to enjoy some of the water, enjoy the weather, nice atmosphere, you know, feel like you're driving a Lego vessel, but at the same time have a nice, calm and peaceful event. So. Overall, I, I would do this one again, for sure. I think it's a great one. So when you come into the dock, if there's a lot of traffic, you turn into a T-bone steak right here. That way is forward. I'm straight up horizontal, so I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this. There's no reverse, but we'll find out. I'm going, I'm going, yeah, it's, it's coming, it's coming. Here we go, see if we can get out of this. There we go. We made our way out of that traffic jam. Back on the road, all right. Oh God, I'm coming at you too fast. I'm coming at you too fast. Now we are back at this fried chicken restaurant for dessert. You've got these frozen chocolate bananas. That's what it looks like outside the envelope there. We've each got one with the sprinkles right there. I'm pretty full, but we'll see how this one goes. You know, I've got to say, it's pretty tasty. And overall, I think it's a pretty good sized banana you've got here. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty there to go around. Overall, it was a pretty good chocolate banana. I've got to say, not too cold. I was able to take bites of the banana. Didn't really get that whole freezer feel until I got to the base on the wooden stick. So pretty edible. And I would say the sugar sprinkle coating there was nice too. The chocolate with the sprinkles on it made for a nice coating on the outside of that banana. Overall, nice dessert item. Mix it up after the proteiny items. And I could see myself maybe getting it again. Possible, you know. Not uh, not incredibly desserty, so it wasn't too sugary, so that's that's nice. All kinds of cool arcade games we're walking by. This one is Disco Ducks. Look at those prizes. Love those ginormous penguins there. And you got pandas. Yeah, it does look like a Triceratops. Some superheroes further down. Really cool. 
And here is the great Lego race VR coaster. Would love to try that one, but currently closed, currently unavailable. Maybe with the current climate, maybe they're doing repairs or still building it, but one day that'll be a really cool one to check out. Seems like they have different teams back there, Team Wizard and Team Trendy. I like the idea. Now making our way back around the Brickbeard's Water Show, and you can see Cypress Gardens. This park was originally Cypress Gardens before it became Legoland, so this is some of the original Cypress Gardens feel. We'll get to honor the old theming, the old beautiful Florida nature in Cypress Gardens. Take a look at this natural part of the park. Really, really nice that they've got this here. Let's take a look. You can see you've got the Eagle's Dare, a lot of these benches sitting around. We saw on one of the other benches earlier here in the park that it was made of 800 milk jugs. Really cool that they use that recycled material here. I love the environmentally friendly thought with the solar panels and with those recycled milk jug benches. But here is some of the beauty, some of the nature of Cypress Gardens and of Central Florida. You can see they preserved this. It looks really, really nice if you're looking for relaxing nature walk. So many twists and turns to take. You can see this pond here with these lily pads set out on the water. These beautiful sculptures on the other side of a few lakes. It seems like this is the historic gazebo and maybe the banyan tree. We can make a left turn and go see those as well. That, that could be cool to see. Really nice to walk around and enjoy Cypress Gardens here. Enjoy the beauty and the nature of Florida. It almost seems like it's its own park and beautiful banyan tree ahead of us. This banyan tree must be what is native in Hawaii, what I saw so many of in Hawaii. Those banyan trees, really cool look to them. Now, I am pretty confident that that's what that is. I don't know for certain, but really, really enjoying seeing all the nature around us. And this is one of the big sights to see in this area. Really, really cool that they've got this here. And shady, which I need because it's hot. Really, really cool to see that banyan tree. And we're continuing to make our way back to this direction towards that historic gazebo. Really nice area, again. Really unique feel, like you're immersed in nature. It reminds me a bit of the tea garden we went to, Japanese tea garden in the Bay Area. Really, really nice, relaxing park to be able to enjoy the nature here. And here it is, the historic gazebo. Really, really cool. They have this here, the chapel gazebo with some facts in front here. It was built in 1969 on the highest point of the gardens and some other information about that gazebo right there. Going back and taking a closer look. Wow, I like it. Really relaxing spot to spend some time in the park. If it's a hot day, you wanna get away from those crowds. I think this is a great part of the park to check out. Really unique element, unlike some of the other parts of Legoland. It seems so quiet back here, so desolate. There's just no one. So I'm really glad we're having the chance to check it out. Walk all the way up to that gazebo, even stand inside for some photos if we'd like. Indeed, indeed we shall get some photos in that gazebo, why not? Making our way downward away from that historic gazebo, got our photos. I'm not sure if they're growing something here. Seems like some sort of plants would be growing there because they're small little shrubs right now. Really relaxing area to see though, if you're interested in some quiet while here at Legoland. Now back at Miniland, we'll take another look around, see some more of these different cities and countries that have been designed here out of Lego. Excited to take a look. Here's a little city right here with some tight roping going on. You can hear sound effects. There's a beachfront over there. I can't quite identify where this is. Pirate Island, perhaps, right over here. I feel like this has to be Las Vegas right here. It even says Madame Toussaint's Las Vegas. You got the wedding chapel over there. There's a monorail. Maybe that's from their airport. You got the Venetian right here. So a few of those fancy hotels that they have. And here's that sign for the Venetian based on famous building in Venice. That's very cool. Here's the Paris rock building at the Eiffel Tower. Not France, right? This Eiffel Tower happens to be Vegas. And then they also have the characters from Mystica. Characters from Mythica are on the top of the MGM building here, the MGM Grand, taking over for the current event with that show in the 4D theaters, the Mythica 4D show. Nice to see all the different buildings here in Vegas. And you've got the Tropicana here as well. Nice. Oh, and this that I thought was Egypt is actually the Luxor, Las Vegas. Ancient city of Luxor, also known as Thebes. 
modeled after the pyramids of Egypt. So this is not actually Egypt, uh, it's, it's Vegas. It's modeled after Vegas. On this side, we have some of Florida. Look at this NASA area over here, I imagine. This is closer to the space station here in Florida. You can see those spaceships ready to take off, some explore signs, and the vehicle assembly building right here. Really interesting facts all around here. Look at this, another beautiful city on the water. I saw a little Havana sign on one of these shops up here, so you can see. Little Havana. This neighborhood of Miami is home to many Cuban immigrants. We've got a lot of information here, again, about these different cities. So there's your Little Havana. You've got all those boats. Wow, look at those boats actually on the move. Free roaming boats here in Florida. You can see, oh, really interesting mechanism at the bottom, pulling those boats around. But nice to see these boats going around the water, enjoying a relaxing day on the harbor in front of the beautiful island of Miami Beach, I imagine. Indeed, called it. Miami Beach, I like it. And there's a hot air balloon above. Here's Key West with more boats roaming around here. On the other side of us here, this looks more historic, classic architecture here. Still have a boat on the water, but I would have said this looks a bit English, but instead I see the Capitol all the way back there. And I see the US flag right here on this memorial. This has to be Washington DC, it's an area I know pretty decently, I like to think so. Nice to see the DC design here as well. And then in the back there, seems like that's the true New York with all the skyscrapers. Wow, really beautiful models of so many different cities here. Really intricate detail. You've got the Jefferson Memorial or the Washington Monument right there. All kinds of great ones. Wow, and the Capitol back that way. Love to see it. Over here on our right, yet another city. You've got the Bay Bridge over there. This has got to be San Francisco. And indeed it is. Look at that street right there. I think that one was Lum Lombard Street, if I recall correctly. Wow, I gotta get my uh, my San Francisco knowledge back on, but you can see a few recognizable buildings back there. I like those different structures, the pyramid-shaped building back there. Welcome back. And here's Chinatown. Ha, huh, we've got Lego Wood, Hollywood Boulevard. Looks like Griffith Observatory back there. And we've got this LA, I think it's Coliseum, or no, it's not the Coliseum, but it's a, orchestra, opera, venue. Cool to see. I love all the design over here. Then here's a tour ship going around what looks like New York. So lots of US cities designed here. You can see Madame Toussaint's happens to be here as well. And a variety of other shops here in Times Square. Look at all those little characters walking around Times Square with different buildings in the background. Wow, check this out. Grand Central Terminal, that train station in there. The Chrysler building right here. You got uh, carousel going on in New York as well. I love, really, I must say, I love this mini land area. Maybe one of my favorite parts of Legoland all around. Here's a, another venue, looks like Georgetown Canal in Maryland, very interesting. This one a little bit less recognizable on this side, but this is the one with DC on the other side. So you can see some differences, some similarities, some parts I remember, some parts maybe not so much, but still awesome to see. Here's Panama City Beach here. So lots of showcasing of different parts of Florida. You can see these boats roaming on around here. You've got little buttons, by the way, that you can interact with the park. So I hit go fishing here. You can see he pulls up a mermaid. That's so interesting. Nice to see different design features there that you can interact with. Seems like lots to appreciate here in the details of Miniland. So many shops, so many skyscrapers. And I guess we saw this park already of Florida. Past the Golden Gate Bridge here, you can see there's Another little town here. This one seems less recognizable to me. A lot of those classic ships there you might see going out over the seven seas in many of these pirate tales. And this is pirates. Look at that, pirates and soldiers battled for control of the seas in a scene inspired from 17th century maritime life. Boom. And here is St. Augustine. It seems like you can see St. Augustine right here beneath us. Crazy how much of Florida is captured in one little space beneath us here. Love to see them put it all together. And I heard that this rocket ship takes off. It goes several feet off the ground every 10 minutes. It's got six minutes left, so we'll see if we can catch that. Maybe we won't be here until then, but we'll see. Nice to be able to see it all. See all the little details too. Now we're gonna see the rocket ship take off right here. You can see 37 seconds left. I'm here and there will be a countdown as well as the takeoff here. Let's see it up close. Five. Oh. 
So it was a bit of a, a shorter takeoff than expected, a little bit lower, but still really cool to see that effect here. They have all kinds of cool effects in Mini Land. Now entering a Duplo Valley. We walked by this one before, but we didn't actually step inside. I think it is for younger ones, but I guess we'll find out here in a minute. This is cute. On the right, you've got the animal farm here. You've got the horses and you've got the chickens and people can drive around the farm with the carrots and the bunnies and be able to have a nice leisurely stroll in those car slash train slash tractor vehicles in Duplo Valley. I like it. Here's a Duplo train on our left and all the way in the back this way is Lego Movie World. Let's take a look. Along the way, lots of places to get soaked. Maybe it's worth doing, you know, just to, to cool off a little bit, but there's Lego Movie World right back there. Now stepping into Lego Movie World. Really cool to see this here. I must admit, I haven't seen the film, but I want to. I'll have to put it on my list, but may have some spoilers up ahead here. So it'll be cool to see though. You can see beautiful theming, nice and uplifting. You got the taco everyday spot back here. So many options, I love it. And there's a Masters of Flight over here. Maybe that's an attraction. Maybe we'll try it, 45 minute wait though. TBD, and there's that giant cat. That's, that's really cool looking, I like it. Look at this boat ride back there. You can see that boat rolling away. You can spray guests with this little spray gun right there. And plenty of other water spraying in there. Might be a nice way to cool down if you're looking for it. Maybe that's the Battle of Bricksburg. And then there's a flight ride. Really, really cool to see Lego Movie World out here. Like, Check out this battleship here. And they're spraying back at us. That's crazy. They can almost soak us from in there where they're at. Going into this little cove area. Looks like a lot of fun for an attraction. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay, I'm out. You gotta watch out because they got some range on those sprayers. Here is Unikitty's Disco Drop. You can see the kitty up there and they have that vehicle that raises up on that railing there and drops down, goes up and down. Really cool. Nice to have that sort of attraction with the drop feeling to it. All kinds of cool things here in Lego Mobile World. Lots to see. Next up here, Lego Kingdoms. Had no idea this was back here. Look at all these beautiful banners just past Lego Movie World. Love the medieval castle theming as we make our way inside. Ooh. And this is the dragon on our right. I believe that's a coaster. It's got a 15 minute wait time. I'm not sure if we can bring our cameras on, but if we can, maybe, maybe this could be a good one to consider. I'm not sure. Love seeing that castle guard out front too. And so much more to see throughout this part of the park. Merlin's Challenge on our left looks like a young train over there for the younger ones. That's cool. We got face paint, some merchandise stores, a ring toss. Lots of games like the ring toss throughout the park to win prizes. And beautiful theming of the different lands here, like the kingdom. I love to see it. Really cool to see this medieval figure out here. Love to see him. But it does seem like no loose articles are allowed on the ride, including those cameras. So maybe not this time. Just outside of the kingdom, you've got the Dragon's Den, another dining venue. And someone who looks a lot like an ogre right here, you can see. Nice little uh, blacksmith there, crafting some stuff. You got your little piggies. And you have plenty of games to play with those prizes every time. I do like how it seems like you can win those prizes more accessibly here. If you're into those carnival style games, might be a good spot for you. And the Royal Joust. Oh, that looks like a lot of fun. I'm not sure if we qualify for it if we're too big, but if we can ride it, maybe we should try. So unfortunately, it's ages four to 12 here on the Royal Joust. Unfortunately, I'm not as small as I used to be. So next time I'll be smaller. I'm gonna work on that aging backwards so that I can go on those good rides. But uh, if you've tried it, how is it? Right here, we've got a refill and refresh station and then the Land of Adventure. So many different lands back here. Wow, just trying to walk and see them all. It's, it's quite a feat. You can see those beautiful palm trees. The music has switched to more of that Middle Eastern feel. And you even have Legos to go with it, like this camel. Oh, camel. How are you, camel? Very good camel. Here on our right, the Lost Kingdom of Adventure. Right there, and it seems like another coaster maybe, but Beetle Bounce over here. Wow, really cool to see. We've got all these options in the Land of Adventure as well. Oh no, seems like the Beetle Bounce is these chairs. So maybe the Lost Kingdom is that coaster back there. I'm not sure we'll be able to bring our cameras, but we'll find out. So it's another no camera adventure here with the Lost Kingdom of Adventure, but another time, I'm sure we'll get the chance to enjoy it. And there's also Pharaoh's Revenge up ahead. Pharaoh's Revenge here looks like a kid's play area, which is cool. Lots of fun 
activities for kids here. We got some younger ones looking for something new. This could be a nice choice. Looks like this might be the safari trek right here. I was expecting one large vehicle and seeing some animals out there, but it looks like individuals can drive their own little buggies through this Lego safari. At least, it seems like a Lego safari. Nice to see what it has to offer. And there is the entryway safari trek. Another cool one to see as we're walking by. Look at those elephants back there moving. Really cool to see one of the many items to see on the safari. Huh, that is cool. I didn't realize they had those kinds of details back there. There's Coaster Saurus back that way. You got some street games over here as well. The Ninjago Street Games, the Ultimate Sandwich Builder. And now I feel like we have indeed made a loop. Those penguins are familiar though. I like those. And here is Ninjago and the Burger Kitchen ahead of us letting me know we have indeed made that loop. We've seen it all on our first walkthrough here today. Really, really cool to see just how much Lego Land has to offer. So many different attractions, some perhaps a little bit more tricky with the camera, some designed only for younger ones, but lots of great ones to enjoy. Really glad we had a chance to hit a few of them. I think maybe Boat School was my favorite, but I loved Mini Land as well. Mike, your favorites at Lego Land today. What did you think of the adventure? I love the boat one too, and Mini Land is definitely one of my uh, highlight attractions, but check out these guys. Really cool to see those ninjas there indeed. So overall, an awesome first visit to Lego Land. So, so glad we had the chance to check it out here today. It seems like we've done a lot of walking, maybe haven't been on as many attractions, but it's been really interesting how the day has, seems like it's flown by in such a short period of time, but that's what happens when you're having fun. Most definitely looking forward to coming back and glad we had the chance to visit. Then there's Heart Lake City. You can see right here on our right, one of the few spots that we did not hit yet, I don't think. So take a look through here, see what it's all about. Over here is that spinning attraction we saw earlier, had that view of, there's a bunch of people on those different horses and the wheel spins up and down. So everyone has their own Lego horse, it seems like to sit on and the wheel's gonna go back and forth. This one looks like it can be fairly intense when you see them really swing back and forth here. So let's see if we can catch some of that view here. So you can see how far that wheel really spins. Guess going all the way from one side to the other spin around. More intense than you may think for this attraction. It's got some real altitude to it in Heart Lake City, but looks like a fun filled time if you ask me. One of these days, gotta try that one too. And then there's some strolling, some sightseeing to see that view of the lake, just walking around, the different views, but overall a relaxing part of the park. Look at this beautiful heart with the different musical instruments. We've got a nice aerial view of those walking paths back that way, but it seems like a smaller part of Legoland over here. So easy to lose track of unless you make it an agenda on your to-do list. And I'm glad we're taking the time to see it. Now here's the big shop. Take a walk through this store near the park entrance slash exit over here. Stepping inside to see what it's all about. It seems like they've got Lego everything in here. Massive shop with any kind of Legos you might want. They even have sections. Lego Technic, Architecture, Ninjago, Lego City, Lego Harry Potter, Lego Super Mario, Duplo, Friends, so much more in all those different sections. It's a little bit busier in here with a lot of people moving around, but really cool to see all this merch they have available in the shop. Here's a pirate island, looks like. You can even build Legoland itself. Exclusive, probably, to Legoland in order to build that. And there's a train there, all kinds of cool merch here. So we've got that park entrance and so much more. Really, really cool to see what they've got, as well as the shirts and such, other merch. Take a look at the International Space Station here. We've got Winnie the Pooh, you've got the creator, all different types of creators. You've got even Mickey and Minnie Mouse right there. I know someone who might be into that kind of thing. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Mike's favorite might be the Disney Legos, but I'm liking the Minions, the Rise of Gru right there. We've got Bell Bottom with Bob and Kevin. I like it. Really cool to see those minions. There's a Stegosaurus and you've got another dinosaur with that rainbow waterfall going on right in front of the park entrance. Don't think I even noticed these on the way in. Probably was busy on the videoing side, but a couple of dinosaurs over here. Really, really cool to enjoy the day here at Legoland. Glad we had the chance. And visiting Legoland today was thanks to Mike being able to come along, help Mike out on his media event here today. It was fantastic to be able to share it all, check it all out, and make sure you check out Mike's video here at Legoland as well, that media event. You can learn some of the facts about Legoland, see some of those inside, behind the scenes looks 
and so much more. Really glad we could share it with you today. And thanks again, Mike. Thank you, David, for recording. David did a lot of the behind the scenes recording. So huge thank you to David there. Thanks so much for helping me make today an amazing, bricktacular day. Don't forget to make your day a bricktacular day as well. Make sure you focus on those positive vibes where you can look for the silver lining in everything you do. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. Until next time, play on.